Many cities in Indiana were recently awarded money through the Community Crossings Matching Grant Program. Vincennes is one community getting money. Unfortunately, bids from contractors in Vincennes are coming in higher than expected. So what happens if the city can't find a contractor that can do the work within its budget? News 10 Bureau Chief Nathan Springfield explains. The city of Vincennes is working with contractors while trying to stay within its budget for this year's paving project. The Indiana Community Crossings Matching Grant Program awarded money to the city of Vincennes. The Indiana Department of Transportation will match the city's contribution of $365,000. In total, the city will have close to $730,000 to fix up 12 streets in town. This includes Prairie Street, a road that has been in desperate need of TLC for a while now. Unfortunately, the lowest bid is about $175,000 over budget. So what happens if the city can't find a contractor who can provide the work within the budget? Either I would have to find the money, the additional dollars in our budgets to cover that, the, the extra cost, or um, just not accept this contract and not do any paving this time. With this type of grant, it's all or nothing. The city cannot remove a road from the list to lower the total cost of the project. If the city can't find anyone to work with its budget, they may have to return the state's half of the funds. But the city isn't giving up. The uh, city engineer is working with the uh, low bid contractor, doing some valued engineering to, to see what we can do about the overall cost of this, uh, the contract. If for some reason the state's half of the money must be returned, the city plans to put its half of the money up for future use. We'll just take this money and not do any paving this time, but put that money towards even more money next year to apply even for more matching dollars. Mayor Yoakum told me the city engineer hopes to have more information by the city's next Board of Works meeting. The goal is to start the project later this spring. Reporting in Vincennes, Nathan Springfield, News 10.